this is Pat in Love with Pat's Two Cents. You know, the Bible says, Lean not unto your own understanding, but in, in all your ways. Acknowledge him, and he will direct your path. Now, a lot of times we don't want to acknowledge because we don't have the patience to wait for the right answer. So we do trial and error. Uh, try it over here, blow it over there, ex uh, whatever. And we just deal with the consequence. We just deal with it because it's better than waiting for an answer. And God is never in a hurry. <clears throat> anyway, so we go our own way, don't we? Even as born again Christians. Oh, yes, we do. Don't you even look at me cockeyed. You know what I'm talking about. So my warning to you is while we are learning obedience and patience, get in the habit of asking God and ask God to fill you with his Holy Spirit and not only the fruits of the Holy Spirit, love, joy, peace, mercy, all of that. Ask God for the gifts because you need to operate in the gift of discernment. Why, you ask? Oh, well, here it is. You ever hear that song? Smiling faces sometimes Pretend to be your friend. Smiling faces show no traces of evil that lurks within. Listen, you have got to watch who you hang with. I'm being silly, but this is a warning. Watch who you commune with. Watch who you lock arms with. Watch who you get into business deals with. And be careful who you marry. Woo. Anyway, you have to be careful even the ones you date and the friends you keep. The reason I'm saying that is because we're in the dark ages. Literally, the dark ages in the spirit. That's why I said literally. This day and age is dark, baby. It is dark and thick with the heaviness of sin, the heaviness of chaos, and anything goes. Anything that is diametrically opposed to God, oh, that goes. That's cool. So you know we're in the dark. You know that. Even those who are not Christians know we're living in the dark. Now, when you hook up with people, you have to ask God before you make the solid connection because God will warn you. He will give you an inclination from the jump before you even get in and even start wading in the waters. Now, because we like to test waters and we like to go for a little swim, even in shark infested waters. Now, don't we? Oh, you know what I'm talking about. So you have to be careful. Those of you women who like the bad boys, you're in shark infested waters, baby. Those of you men who like the promiscuous women, you're in shark infested waters. All right. Now, let's move aside from that because this is the real reason I'm talking about this. Some, many of you have children and you are single parents in the family. You are the mother and father of that child. No matter whether you are the father or the mother, you're playing both roles, a dual role, dual responsibilities. And listen, you have got to keep your eyes peeled because there is, there is a spirit of pedophilia that is just infesting society in this dark era we live in. And you have 
have got to have eyes in the back of your head. You have to have eyes in the back of your hands. You have to have eyes in your ears. I mean, that's why you need God. I hope that makes it plain. So when you are dealing with people who are buttering you up, hey, old buddy, old pal, yeah, I'm going to come on over. We're going to play some. We'll get the kids together. We're going to play. Whether they're male or female, you watch people who try to bond with your kids. Nine times out of ten, it's a healthy and and rewarding thing. It's It's beautiful. But there's that one time out of the ten mm -hmm. where you got a sicko with a beautiful charming smile Ding! and you're taken by their charm their personality the charisma and their their uh, presence they just seem to have it all together don't they but all the time they're buttering you up and buttering you up and patting you on the back and complimenting you and flattering you. And oh man, to everyone that's around, this is the best thing since bread and butter. I mean, oh, this is, this is the one right here. Well, you think about that song, smiling faces. You think about that because flattery can come from a snake. Flattery can come from a pimp. Flattery can come from a dope dealer. Flattery can come from a gambling joint. They let you know how lucky you look. And they're going to let you have a few free rounds on the house just because they like you like that. I mean, every favor is not a blessing. Some of the biggest favors you get in life turn out to be your biggest curse, and you know it. Okay, let me calm down. Okay, so what I want you to do is start asking God to show you who you're hooking up with, show you people in advance, give you dreams in advance before you even encounter the person so that you know in advance, you'll say, oh, I saw that face in my dream. They're bad news. Thank you, Lord. And they can look like they are going to make you rich, baby. They can make you look like you're going to your life is going to be in heaven until you're taken there. If you hook up with that person. But if you're asking God ahead of time, he'll show you ahead of time. And you won't be so shocked when you see that little rattling peeping out from under the I'm trying to do it with my hand. I got to do it with something else. That little rattler peeping out from under the clothes. <sighs> Getting ready to sting you to death. So I'm asking you, keep your eyes peeled. In these dark and sinful days, you have got to be careful. You have got to be prayerful. The Bible says, watch and pray. Don't just thank you. Watch and pray. Be alert. Pay attention. Be aware of everything going on around. You get that little gut feeling that says something's not right. Something's not right. Listen, you remember years ago when they used to have the uh, thing of twin? It's, it's a box. It looks about the same size as a box of grits. Twin is an artificial sweetener. It is flaky like sugar. It is sweet like sugar. And it is white like sugar. So why not? You're going to lower your sugar levels. Doesn't that sound good? Now you don't know what chemicals are in it. They didn't tell you that part. But it's artificial sweetener. And it'll help you lose weight. So they dish you a line of bull to reel you in. Now, after you use it and you stir it in your cup and you take a sip and you're like, oh, it is sweet. Yeah, it's sweet. It, mm. Wait a minute. Something's 
not right. That doesn't taste like sugar. I don't know what it is. It's sweet. But that's not real. I mean, that's something wrong with that. You have some sweet folks in your life that will shower you with gifts, shower you with favors, shower you with all kind of, you know what they're doing? They're either trying to get in your pocket or they're trying to get your job or they're trying to get your husband or, it, or the other way they're trying to get your wife or they're trying to get with your kids, your daughter or your son that pedophilia thing going on. They're feeling you out <laughs> so they can get the feeling up on your kids. Keep your eyes open. I don't know who this warning is for, but you guys better keep your eyes open. Some of those boyfriends, you should never leave them alone with your children. There's no need in having a boyfriend if you can't trust them around your kids. Because if you plan to get married, baby, you are cursing your kids. Because we know what's coming next. Soon as you're gone to work and they take off and they're going to help you and the kids, they're going to go pick up your kids from school. Oh, yeah. Sure they are. They're going to pick up something else, too. So listen, you be careful. You be watchful. You pray. You ask. You seek. You don't just gullibly just, oh, hi, oh, he's a nice person, got a nice smile. Look at that nice suit, got a nice job. Screw that. If God says no, you better run. You hear me? That's your warning. Seek God. Acknowledge him in all your ways. All your ways. And he will direct your path. 